This award is very important to us. Uh, when we first released the original Beamwatch product, we saw it as a very innovative, groundbreaking design. And by now having received this award for Beamwatch AM, the second generation of this product, it shows that everyone else in the industry is starting to also recognize the innovative and groundbreaking nature of it. I think it's very interesting that the industry would be attuned to what we were doing here. It is absolutely a revolutionary product. The, the, I think the award is a, a, is a great thing. I mean, that makes you feel good that you, did, that you were part of that team. Uh, I think that winning this award kind of proves that we were able to make something that's pretty unique. A lot of customer issues that we're able to address what the beam is actually doing at the build plate location. You can get your full caustic view. You can see where your caustic is focusing, if it's in the right place or not. We've also had customers that knew they had some astigmatism in their R&D machines, but didn't know how severe it was until they saw a Beamwatch. Well, the Beamwatch AM is revolutionary because it's uh, everything in one package. Up until now, we haven't had that option. They were astounded by the fact that they could get the entire caustic of the laser in one shot. So, you know, instantaneous results. Other solutions to, the, to this problem actually require moving a sensor up and down through the path of the laser to measure the diameter of the focus spot at various places along the optical path. And it can be in hours to gather all the data. So you're not sure what's changed during that time. Whereas if you can take a snapshot of the whole thing all in one instant of time, you know that this is what it was like at that one instant in time. So as you turn a high power laser on, things start warming up and things change and we can measure the change. Since it can track focal shift, uh, it's kind of an eye opener for the industry, you know, whereas they weren't able to actually see or, or even possibly know that that occurred beforehand, they can now see it in real time. That this product helps with consistency. That this tool gives you the ability to measure what's going on and to compare that to what was happening yesterday and tomorrow. It's, it's just a, a great way to, to make sure that you're providing a consistent process repeatable measurements from layer to layer, job to job, and machine to machine. There's always question of if your attenuation or other optics, speeding needles, etc., are changing your measurement. With Beamwatch AM, because it's non-contact, you know that what you are seeing is the beam that is performing the work. Other competitive products take a lot of setup time to get your path lengths right, to get your settings just right, and with Beamwatch AM, because it's non-contact, there is very little setup. You can get up and running very quickly. Lightweight and portable, it allows you to take the exact same unit from your R&D and QC tests into the field for field service technicians. The beam is directed into the beam watch. The environment is protected by shutter systems so that the, the measurement environment is not open to the outside environment until you're ready to make a measurement. The well, Beamwatch AM helps additive manufacturers in a couple of ways. First of all, um, it's important that when they're doing their process of building additive manufacturing, one has to realize it's not a sintering process, it's a welding process. And if you don't control the heat of the beam properly, you can get voids inside of the welds. And if you get voids in the welds such as a uh, turbine blade, for example, I think recent news has indicated some of those problems there, that's not a good thing. So by knowing exactly how well the laser performs in the situation, you can qualify the parts that you build and you know that you've built good parts, rugged parts that won't fail in the field. It makes sure that the, uh, the AM system, the 3D printer, if you will, focus occurs. That is where the beam is actually being focused occurs at the work surface and not above the work surface or below the work surface. Uh, other things, though, are quite important. A lot of the manufacturers are trying to figure out how to improve their additive manufacturing machines, and they've been learning a lot about their uh, lensing system by using our equipment because they can actually see the drift in the position where the beam is most focused. And that's quite obvious. We've put that in some of the very first beta units, and in 
literally minutes, we could see exactly what was going on with their optical head. This is a huge benefit for the manufacturers of these pieces of equipment because they can characterize how their process works. They can characterize how quick the beam will stabilize and where it will stabilize. That's a big issue.